skin, big bandage. Hi guys, it is Jess here and welcome to my lounge room. <laughs> I thought that I would maybe change things up a little bit today and I'm filming from my lounge. So I kind of wanted to talk to you about maybe it's a bit of a difficult topic and uh, if any of you have felt very emotional about your acne before then you're probably going to be able to relate <laughs> to a lot of what I'm going to talk about today. One of the things that people don't really understand so much, I think, about acne is how it affects you mentally and emotionally because acne is just such a physical thing. And people think that, uh, you know, once you get rid of the spots, hey, that's it. Happy days, you're all good, right? But the emotional trauma I think of having acne, especially if it's been quite bad or if you've had it for a really long time, that doesn't go anywhere. So just to give you a little bit of background on me and where I'm coming from, I've had acne for most of my life. I've had it for about 20 years on and off. Uh, I've had points in my life where it's been pretty good, like I've been fairly clear, maybe a spot here or there, but nothing to get too worried about and it's been kind of okay. Uh, I've had other points in my life where it has been chronic, where it has been so severe, uh, just it, it would be constantly weeping, <laughs> it would be constantly sore to touch, I wouldn't be able to do anything about it, it was just so raw and bumpy and yeah pretty terrible it, like chronic cystic acne i've been there and it's not a place i ever want to go to again <laughs> so right now i'm on accutane because my skin just it was not clearing up no matter what i was doing for it whether it be topical or anything that i was ingesting nothing was working so I had to bite the bullet and go on Accutane. That's the only reason why my skin is clear right now because it's actually working for me, uh, even though it's the second time that I've taken it. And even the trauma, <laughs> and there is trauma attached to different things that you do for your skin too, because this is the second time I've been on Accutane. The first time I went on it was when I was a teenager and I don't know what dosage that I had, uh, but, I was getting all the typical side effects like really dry skin and dry dry lips and, and eyes, uh, nose, like I would have nosebleeds all the time and just so many problems. But I had some of the really severe side effects that can come along with Accutane and yeah, the trauma of that has definitely affected my, my experience and my understanding of Accutane today. Anyway, this is what I'm saying. It's like ac acne is it's an ongoing thing, even if it's not present, it's not physically present. It's always in your mind. It's kind of always going to be with you. And any time that you have even the tiniest little spot, oh man, even if like everything's been clear and everything's going really great, you see that one little spot and it's all over. <laughs> It is all over. I'd also like to add in here the fact that, you know, somebody might have chronic acne and it might be with them for a really, really long time. But even people who might just have the odd spot here or there, like it's not, it, it, it's not a chronic condition, that can still affect them. It can still prolong, you know, the mental anguish basically that you get from acne. It's just, it doesn't matter if it's if it's just one spot or a couple of spots or over your entire face it stays with you for a really really long time and i just want to say that because i'm sure that a lot of you are in a similar position that maybe you can relate that you've had acne for a really long time and maybe it now it's gone but my god do you remember it <laughs> do you remember those days that you had acne Ooh man uh, or maybe you've got it right now and you're currently suffering from it and you're you're like at your wits end 
you can feel that sadness from it you can feel even depression I know that acne can definitely bring on depression in people like I used to think that I had depression but I think what I had was just a very deep sadness that kind of came came back every now and again when my skin was especially bad and I just felt very deeply deeply sad um, yeah because depression is it's a chronic clinical uh, medical condition and I think that if you're someone who is seriously suffering from depression that you do need to get help you need to tell somebody about it and even if it is because your skin is so bad that it's it's bringing on depression and sadness you need to be able to tell somebody about that okay so how about I kind of give you maybe a few solutions or maybe a little bit of guidance first of all I do want to say that you're definitely not alone if you feel like you're suffering some sort of trauma from getting acne um, yeah it, it is it can be anyway an ongoing thing so you're definitely not alone if you're feeling that way uh, I also want to say that people do care they really do care if you have the courage to reach out and tell somebody about how you're feeling even if it's somebody completely anonymous on the internet uh, that would be a really good thing to do uh, to tell somebody how you're feeling is really important um, I would also say that this is something that can come back to you time and time again throughout your life like you might have just had acne when you're a teenager but then maybe you're an adult and the acne might come back and you'll have like flashbacks to your teenage years <laughs> and, and it's like oh my god it's all over again ah um, or maybe you might be passing it on to one of your children if you have had it when you're a teenager and a kid and it's genetic and you know you pass it on to your own children and you see that your children are suffering from acne yeah I'm sure I mean I haven't been in that position but no doubt no doubt <laughs> it is one hell of a place to be and I'm sure that that's something that does occur a lot as well because acne acne can be caused by so many different things it's hard to pinpoint exactly what causes it for everybody uh, but definitely genetics are one of them it is one of those reasons and if it is genetics unfortunately there's not a lot that can be done and like me it's genetic and you're probably best to just bite the bullet and go on a hardcore medication like Accutane I guess I just want to let you guys know that one you're not alone if you're feeling this way that this is like an ongoing thing and even if your acne is gone you still have that trauma you're not alone uh, two don't let it hold you back because if you allow acne to control your life constantly you're never going to get anything done you're not going to live your life you need to live your life don't let it control you and three I think just be open to talking to people about it because although you know your acne it's very physical and it might have disappeared if you're still feeling the, that sort of heightened emotion and the, the sadness and the depression from it you really really need to tell somebody about it and uh, you deserve to have confidence in yourself and to feel good about yourself and don't let acne control your life okay guys don't let it control your life so let me know how you're feeling in the comments down below because I know that we're just getting to know each other but I'm here for you and I'll be in the comments and I'll be able to talk to you and yeah I hope that you're all feeling feeling a little bit better now that you've listened to my story because this is I think it is like an ongoing trauma that we just don't talk about but it definitely affects thousands and thousands of people okay guys I hope you have a beautiful day and I look forward to talking to you all later Mwah. bye <laughs>